I'm here at the Moses Cone Memorial Park, about 3,500 acre park, just off the Blue Ridge Parkway near Blowing Rock, North Carolina. And I'm on a little two mile trail called the Maze, just off of Bass Lake here near the Flat Top Manor. And I left my boy back at the lake doing some fishing. And my wife, daughter, and other son are up at the manor checking it out and I'm just doing a little hiking here. And I was itching to get out on the trail a little bit, so I thought I'd just take a little hike while everybody's out doing some other things. And planning for my big day tomorrow at the Lindenville Gorge. My two boys and I are planning on doing 10 to 15 miles at the Lindenville Gorge tomorrow while my wife and daughter do some antique shopping. It's a very nice multi-use trail for horseback riding hiking, walking with your dogs, seen a few joggers, no mountain bikes though. There is the Moses Cone Manor, also known as Flat Top Manor, right there. I'll try to zoom in on it. That's where my wife and daughter and oldest son are at the moment. There we go. Built in 1901. I've got my hammock set up on beautiful Bass Lake here. And my son is right there doing some fishing. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. He's caught three bluegill but no trout. What is funny is that uh, supposedly Bass Lake is full of trout, rainbow, brook, and brown. And Trout Lake, down the road about a mile, is full of bass and bluegill and no trout. Go figure. All right, you ready guys? No. Yes. Our first steps into the Linville Gorge Wilderness. Pisgah National Forest, the Hawksbill Trail. Meters. What do you think of Hawksbill, guys? Pretty nice, isn't it? What a beautiful day to be up here. They were calling for rain all day. And it even sprinkled this morning, but now mostly sunny, partly cloudy, whatever you want to call it, but it is nice out. Check out the view. All right, now we got about a three mile walk, the zigzag down off of Hawksbill down to the river, and about a three mile walk down the river before we cross at Spence Ridge. Actually, Chimbrick. We're crossing at Chimbrick. Ready? 150 foot straight down. Actually, you could mountain goat your way down there, I think. Most of it. Oh, look at the Linville River, guys. There's hardly any water in it at all. I can see it. Let's zoom in down there and check it out. We can rock hop. We can rock hop across that easy. I don't even see any water in it. Right there. It looks dry from up here. Ready? We are down below Hawksbill now. Check it out. There's where we just were about 10 minutes ago. And now we're walking around below it on an unofficial trail, working our way down to Spence Ridge. Oh my gosh. Really, Gavin? Careful. Watching. This is what the trail looks like skirting the bottom of Hawksbill, working our way down to Spence Ridge. This trail that we're on right now is very, very treacherous. Every bit of any off-trail River for Gorge, actually worse. And I don't have a first aid kit with me, so I told them to be very, very careful. I do not want to become a statistic of all the horrific rescues at Linville Gorge. And I've heard there's been a ton of them as people come out here unprepared. And even though I have a pretty good day pack with me with enough water 
and uh, uh, water treatment tablets since I forgot my Sawyer squeeze pump. Um, I do not have a first aid kit with me. So we're gonna be very careful. All right, since I forgot my uh, Sawyer squeeze pump, we're gonna use uh, purification tablets. Pretty slow, isn't he? Man, that is beautiful. We finally got done bushwhacking through some of the roughest stuff I've ever been through for the last hour and a half. And finally back on the main trail, Spence Ridge. And we'll be working our way back down to the Linville River. I swear I feel some sprinkles. Yeah. There's just the sweat dripping off of me. <laughs> I think I hear rain, guys. I guess rain falling up in the trees. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna be hiking in the rain the rest of the day. Yippee, maybe it'll pass really quick. Well, we have uh, exited Spence Ridge Trail and I've made it to the bridge here that's washed away. We are at the Linville River, ready to attempt our crossing. But this is the bridge that washed away, I don't know when. Looks like it's pretty nice. So, we just gotta figure out how to get across that section right there where Blake is. Wow. That is just beautiful. There's a nice swimming hole right there. What do you think, Blake? Can we get across there? Think so? Oh, I love this. I think this is a good place to have lunch, or at least a snack. Easily. I know you could, but I don't know how you're going to land. What if, you can't afford to get injured down there. You gotta be smarter. Than I know I can make it too, but I'm not gonna take that risk and have to hobble out of here and not even make it out by the end of the day. Beautiful scene. Love the sound of that Linville River down there. It's loud. A lot of rocks in this trail. But we're able to navigate it pretty quickly. These two mountain goats up here keeping the pace at three mile an hour, I think. This hike is absolutely gorgeous. If you have not been to Linville Gorge, I highly recommend it. Wow. There have been some amazing campsites along the river. So not only do I recommend hiking the Linville Gorge for the trail, but the campsites alone make it worthwhile. They are just absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, let's hit the trail. Burning daylight. We've got about eight miles to go, and we have four or five hours to get it done. We just heard some thunder up there a little bit ago, so we might get downpoured on here in a little bit. We're making good time though. Massive mountainous wall. Wow. That is gorgeous. We gotta go down and around that, guys. We got about two more miles. 
to follow the Linville River. Then we're taking a left at Chimbrick back to Shortoff Trail towards Table Rock Mountain, I believe. Well, I wonder if we're gonna be going up there. Look at that. What is that, about a thousand foot above us? Man. Lots of rocks to navigate. And lots of spider webs today. Yuck. Uh-oh, where's it go, guys? I can't tell where the trail is. We have made it to Pinch Inn Trail. It goes that way. And it's one of the worst trails in the gorge I've heard about. And we're going down here to Kimbrick or Chimbrick Crossing. We have made it back down to the Linville River. Trying to find a place to cross over here to get onto the Chimbrick or Cambrick Trail. And we're going to spend a few minutes looking for a place to jump across first before we uh, give up. There he goes down the trail. I wonder if we can like four minutes across some of the water. And I couldn't get him on film. I'm, I just barely saw one right over here. We just got done with a 1,000 foot climb up Chimbrick. And look at this. I feel like we're up in the clouds. Must be a little storm front moving in. That is awesome. We are worn out. We're almost out of water, just about out of food. And we got at least three hard miles yet to get back to Table Rock picnic area where my wife is supposed to pick us up. Just a little bit of survival mode is starting to kick in. I'm getting a little worried. We're coming on four o'clock here. And not knowing how long it's gonna take us to get back. It's got me a little worried being this low on water and food. Oh. Ready guys? Yep. One last look at this. Fifteen hundred foot ascent in about forty-five minutes, and now it's pouring down rain, so we got to put the camera away in the bag. Well, we just spent about an hour walking through torrential downpour and about three inches of water on the trail. It was not fun. We're a little chilly now, but uh, we're getting near the end, our final mile, I think. But here's the view. We're on about thirty-five hundred foot elevation, and we should have amazing views right now. But this is all we got. <laughs> I feel like we're up in the clouds. All right, guys, ready to finish this last mile up? My two boys and I are working our way down to the bottom of Linville Gorge, and it's been pretty steep. Lots of rocks. I can hear the water down there a couple hundred feet. And I'm struggling to keep up with these two teenage mountain goats up here. Whoa. That's pretty massive. We have finally made it down to the Linville River. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is what my boys were wanting to do. Do some rock jumping, rock hopping. Look at that. Oh. 
beautiful. Go check out this waterfall right over here. I'm trying to catch up with my boys. It's not slow. All those little, there's actually a bunch of ravens sticking out of it. Oh, I can see it anyway. Gavin and Blake are almost halfway up to the top of the waterfall. I don't think they can go any further than that. It would probably be stupid to go further. If there was a way up to the top of that waterfall and I knew how deep it was, 25 feet down below, I would not be able to resist jumping that for sure. I just don't think there's a way up. Pretty sketchy. We're here at the Linville Falls Overlook. Turn around, give you a look here. Pretty busy here today. I need that candle.